while. <laughs> That's okay. Now we're in this situation. Yeah. Aren't we? B. G6. Check. That actually saved my knife. For a turn, at least. For a turn, at least, but it still saved the knife, right? I mean, hmm? gee. And if I pull this guy back, then then you can take this guy. Yeah. You know, with this rook. Mm-hmm. That's slick, you. <laughs> Came up with this whole situation of you still taking the knife, but you know what? Since he's in check, I mean... Like, I have to do something about yeah. being in check. Mm-hmm. Kids right there. Yeah. Oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> so this is um interesting situation. An ugly situation is uh, more what I would say. So I'm going to move no, my you, king. No, you, oh, actually, that. no, you can't. Yes, yeah, you can. I, can. I, I realized for a second I thought he was just gonna go. Oh, no, <laughs> no. Uh, one space, one space in the so, wrong. K, F, eight. K, eight. <laughs> Continue your attack. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Just for randomly forgetting that this is not a Here queen. is a number of options that I see for you. King, uh, Rook. Uh, no. No, because of this guy. I didn't move that guy. Yeah. Never mind. Knight. Here. That gives you control of this square. You have control of this square. So now it doesn't matter if it, this knight gets taken. Mm. Okay? Sacrifice. Yeah. And I can't take this... Oh, I, you don't want to move that guy. Yeah, I know. Because I can't take this knight with this bishop or with this pawn because of this rook sitting here. Because my king is now in that line. And I cannot... Put my king into check. <laughs> okay, well that was so that problem. was a really good move. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my brain was thinking of a way different situation that you know what actually. <laughs> that was a way good move. Yeah, but you know what? Actually, because now you can't uh, move. it's your move. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that would be the move, babe. Wow, that's freaking fantastic. Holy, well, I did not expect that situation because what I was imagining. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> like, you know what I was imagining? I was imagining that this guy would end up being taken, uh -huh. getting that he was, like, there. Yeah. And then I would have to go, like, this. Yeah. And then move him out of the way so he could go to Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Well, actually. Boop, yeah. Boop. Put you back. Yeah, no. I just I just saw that. So did I. <laughs> that was this is a fantastic move. Okay, so uh R two H five. R X H five, as a matter of fact. You can be taken it hmm. So now I can go. Ooh. <laughs> and try Good to rest job. my elbow right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's not Be careful, a, don't, don't knock the board over. That's not correct elbow resting Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to knock the board over now. I have to do something about that. Yeah, I'm now, just trying to figure out. You have to do something, out. but which something is going to be better? I'm <laughs> just trying to figure out what. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because if you bring this down here, I'm not in checkmate. Because I have this square right here I can go to. Hmm. Which puts you in a fork. You have to, well, no. Yes and no. I can't take him because of the knight, but I can take him because he doesn't have any protection. Okay? So mm -hmm. in two moves, I could potentially take your rook, but you're going to get my queen because you're going to move here, I'm going to move here, then you want to take my queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, I'm in a very bad position. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm not losing. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, no, I mean, you're. Strategy that's... games are very difficult for me.
me some days, and then sometimes when I end up, even with when a lot of, even if a lot of help come up, suddenly my brain just goes into, yes. <laughs> I never needed help. All of this was on my own accord. <laughs> no, 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 even if that's definitely not the case. Uh huh. So I, I'm gonna preempt your move. <laughs> okay. Now. Okay. Jeez. Yes, yeah, K to G6. Hmm. Right, no, let's just have G7. G7, right. not J7. Let's still, let's G7. There you go. Now, you see what that does. That changes the whole scheme. Yep. And I have some. Mm hmm. I'm going there. You can't take him. That is correct. I can't take him. You still have spaces to go, but you can't take him. I have one space to go. You have one space to go, but you can't take him. That's the point. Well, actually, no. I have two spaces. Well, yeah, but still. Neither of them are ones I want to move to. <laughs> so, R to H7. Check. Okay, so now K to G8. Now you're there, and I don't like you being there very much, I have to say. That is about the best move I could make right now. Hmm. Actually? Hmm? Oh. What? That's not fun. I know what move you should make at this point. Uh... Mm -mm. No moving him anywhere? Uh, oh, wait, no. No, you shouldn't make that move. Right. Well, yay. I don't know what you're trying to figure out what you're referring to is. Huh. Mm -mm. Hmm. You can do that, and it will put pressure on my queen. Not a bad move. Not a bad choice. You can do this. It'll put pressure on my king. It'll put me back in check. However, I got my bishop right there that can take it. However, <laughs> you, also, you also have that square protected with the knight and the rook. So, what you could do and yeah, this is actually where I would sacrifice the uh, white bishop, is because if you make this move, that puts me in check. I have to get out of check, and the only way I can get out of check at this point, actually no. If you make that move, it puts me in check. The only way I can get out of check at this point is either to take it with my bishop or move here. So I have two choices. If I make this move here, you can come over and take me with the rook. Now, I'm not in check, but I also cannot... I got one square I can move to. Yeah. And okay. Then, and then you're so just now like this bishop is now no longer protecting this. So you do that. I'm going to do something to try and put some pressure on you somewhere. Probably this. All right. But by that point. And then you take do this. Now I'm in check. I'm in check, and I, and I, and I can't take this guy. And I can't move here. So now I'm there. But then, uh, <laughs> I don't know, did I think it's like a stalemate? Can't tell. No, it isn't. Pretty close because now you bring that guy in. Now I'm in check.
but I can move back here. Okay. But then. So I move back there. My lord. Then you come back here. My lord, what is this? And now I'm in check again. You see? So now I'm in double check. Because <laughs> uh, that guy. Check and double. This guy. <laughs> So now I got to move back over here. Checkmate. Huh. Hmm. You see why? Yeah, I guess so. Because now this horse is protecting that square, so I can't yeah. move there. This rook has got those two squares, so I can't move here. And of course, this guy put me in check. Game okay. over. You win. Suddenly worried about Queenie and then I about the fact that Queenie's there, but then I realize, oh wait a minute, he's in check. I have to focus on it. I have to get out of check. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Queenie can sit there all all day long. <laughs> and he's just sitting there like, I have a knife, but I, I can't use it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So um Anyways. <laughs> you know. So that was actually a, a pretty good sequence of events. Yeah. I didn't even write any of that down because, you know, actually, it was, it's all a hypothetical sequence of events. Uh, yeah, you're there, you're there. Uh, you're there, you're there. You're there. What? And the queen is back here. Alrighty then. So anyways, pretty sure this was the game. So, this is the other thing. We, we, this is probably the best move you can make. Yep. All right. So, I just All made right. that. That was me. <laughs> so, but you don't want to do that. I just saw this because it's another move I can make. So, I just realized there were three moves I could make. All right. One is to take the bishop with the bishop, which we just played out. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave that footage in when I edit it. Two is to move the king there. Now, the best move for you on this one would be to do that. Why? Actually, no. Because that pawn still got protection there. Oh God, that I keep forgetting about the damn protection. <laughs> that bishop is really kind of throwing some kinks into white play. Yeah. Um, Yeah, at this point, I would say bring your knight over here. You now have a controlling knight on that square. So what am I going to do? I'm going to bring my queen up here. Now what are you going to do? Probably oh. boom there. That's check. Mate. Mate? Oh yeah, it's checkmate. No, it's not. What? No. Oh well, yeah, it is. I can't take your bishop because of this. Your bishop. Whoop whoop. I can't whoop, move out whoop. here because whoop because of that. He's stuck. Yeah. Cool. So. Wow. Uh, that was a lot faster, mate, than than the other one. Than the other one. That's pretty cool. So, okay. Now, the other thing I can do. Yep, move him back. The other thing I can do. Take your rope. And it, it, it was the cap or the eraser. Again. Anyways. So. <laughs> this is the good move for me. This is the best move for me. And it's the last one I move. I just saw it after we played out me taking this with your, with my bishop. So, the reason I can't take the rook right now is because of the white bishop.
All right. So this is the way I would play this. Okay. Knight to g4. Knight to g4. My queen would go from um, d8 to d6. Okay. g4 then would go to uh, f5 or f6. Six. Check. Check. Okay. So, at that point, I would say e7 to f6, taking the knight. However, your next move is uh, f4 to f6. Okay, so, yeah, we've been, um, we've gone through several permutations now, and, and, uh, The reason we go uh, going, I I took you through all those different per permutations is just to show you kind of how the game of chess is and the strategy of the game of chess is built. Hmm. Does that make sense? Hmm. Yeah. So now you have to decide what you're going to do. <laughs> Two main options here. Which depends whether I want to do, whether I want to use the rook or the knight. Hmm. Well, the last one we were just discussing where you take your knight and move him here, mm -hmm. that is probably your best avenue. Yeah. I haven't played that one all, all the way just by looking at it, but... All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Fun, fun, fun. And Daddy take the T-Bird away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's an old 1960s tune, so don't worry about it. Beach Boys, I think. Mm -hmm. So that is K. X. G4. And as I said, my best move is to bring my queen up. So Q to D uh, six. Mm. Because is this pawn right back here? Mm -hmm. He's gonna automatically just take that guy. And the knight as well. at this point, yes, he'll take a knight. But he'll take the knight as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but at this point, it's better to have a rook than a, you know. I, I mean, the knight is very useful. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But if you take this guy here, then you know. To I'll take him move. there, and then you'll take him here. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's just um. And, and then I can still get out of check over here. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So if you use the knight first, mm. you know, yes, it sacrifices the knight, but then you will box my king into these two little squares, or this one little square, and all you got to worry about is figuring out how to attack this one square. <laughs> <laughs> Which right now, you get to move out. Yeah. So that's... So... Um, N to NX... Uh, F6. F6. And that's check. So I'll take E to F6. E, X, F6. Yep. And it's F4. Uh, R, X, F6. All right. And this is as far as I played it out in my head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now you've got that one space. That's it. That's all you've got. Hmm. I'm going to say R to F8. Not, not 
thinking, not attacking F8, just moving there. <laughs> All right. I just moved R to F8. Mm -hmm. Now what you're going to do... I... Mm -mm. Why? Bad idea. A, mm -hmm. because nothing is attacking this square, except that rook. So if you take that rook, then I can take you with the queen, which would then put your king in check, or I can take you with the king. Alrighty then. Now then, we have your move, because I just pushed beef off. Mm-hmm. So N C five. Mm -hmm. so one. B okay. three. Okay, H5. Your tactics confuse and frighten me. <laughs> You're just ominously moving this way and I'm just sitting here like... to lose this guy. However, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> I finally got rid of her. Yeah. I'm going to die, and I know that, but I finally Jesus. got rid of her. <laughs> okay, HD6. As I said, I knew that was going to happen, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Okay. I just need to give Cloud got a peace of mind knowing that she's gone, honestly. And then we don't have her just swooping around like, whee! And beef. She should come and train me if I just go away. F five mm -hmm. and C six. Well, hmm. we had some technical issues. Uh, so you'll see the board is still at, uh, we reset the board because uh, we didn't, weren't aware of the technical issues and we wound up finishing out the game. Twice. 
Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, where we stand here is Tanya has just moved um, her knight to c6. Uh, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, walk through our thought process as we made each one of these uh, moves mm -hmm. to the best of our ability. Um, so with her moving her knight to c6, I'm going to push pawn to a4. Now that puts pressure on this pawn. I'm trying to make, uh, open the, the gap here so I can walk a pawn back to the back row. Yeah. Um, Donnie is then going to go to uh, na7. That's over here. I'm trying my best to kill them. Yeah, she's trying to kill all my pawns so that she <laughs> I can't do anything. So that you can't revive anyone. Right. And it, it, it's not a bad strategy. Unfortunately, she's just in a bad spot for it. Because uh, A, B3 is me taking this pawn here. She should have taken the pawn. Yeah, I... <laughs> but, um... All right, so yeah, I'm just trying to get to the back uh, to the back row at this point because that's the only thing I can do. Mm -hmm. um, all right, uh, your next move, Connie, was uh, N to B5, taking my pawn. Because you know, pawn. Yeah, uh, that's that, that's the uh, that was your main strategy, and that's a good, it's not a bad strategy. It really, it's not. Um, so. Uh, my next move here is to go uh, B2, and like I said, Part I'm just going to... like panicking at this point, because I know exactly who he's going to resurrect. Yeah. Exactly who. So, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. Then I realize uh, my horse is going to get there in two moves, and by those two moves, they're going to be resurrected. Uh, the queen's going to be back, and then it'll just be over <laughs> at that point. Right. So um, I. So your next move here is actually uh, to go a4, pushing a pawn, starting the march to the other end of the board. For no reason. Uh, if you can pull it, delay it out. If you can run far enough, you know it's not a bad idea to to, to pull that to to, to race that uh, pawn to the other end of the board and get uh, get your queen back. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows that you take, you, you know, 90% of the time you're going to take your queen mm -hmm. <laughs> or a second queen if you haven't lost your queen when you get your pawn to the back row. Wait, how do you do a second queen? Um, a lot of chess sets, they come with multiple queens for each color. Huh. Uh, because, and that's why, is if you get to the back row, 90 to 95% of the time, people are going to take another queen. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. All right. So... Um, it's not a bad idea to, to run to the back because if she can run, she knows what's going to happen. Uh, and if she can run her pawn all the way to the end, she might be able to combat it. Um, not a bad idea. All right, so my move, of course, is going to be B1, and I'm going to take my queen in exchange. There we go. Mm. Um, now, Tawny has got a pretty, actually, pretty good move here. Um, and I believe was D6. D6. And to D6. And that puts me in check. So that was me prolonging the inevitable queen's <laughs> onslaught. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that was, you, you know, you're running away from the queen because you were sitting right in the attack lane. Yeah, also that too, but also like, queen, don't move. Right, right. <laughs> well, that's the other thing out know, though, is if, if you hadn't made that move, you could have, you know, you were protected. So it's potentially, if I take that, if I take that, then you take my queen with your pawn because it's protected. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Um, it's a it's a risky play because that's your last power piece. Mm -hmm. But um, at the same time, that's also your last power piece. <laughs> that is. This true. guy ain't moving anytime soon. <laughs> Unless I can open it up. Yeah, I got one pawn left. <laughs> All right. So, so maybe that was a you just put me in check. So I move move my king to g4, mm -hmm. moving out of check and making sure you can't run away. <laughs> yeah. So that was my thought process with moving to g4. Uh, the other option I I really the the only other real option I had was to move to um, e6, 
uh, to put pressure on the knight, make him move. Well, you also had a, what you call it, this move. But you right, well, the best move for me, though, would, would have been either g4 or to press my attack or to put pressure on a knight at um, uh, f6 or e6, rather. Now, <clears throat> I my brain sort of messed up a bit because I believe my next move was to uh, watch my pause. Uh, that probably should have been your next move, mm. but your next move here is uh, king to e2. I do think you just kind of panicked a little bit when, uh, when my king started to get close to yours. I did, I did. I, did. Um, I have to say, I did. <laughs> so, with your move to king to e2, it puts your king in a very uh, difficult position. Interesting you don't, area. Huh. Yeah, you don't have a lot of space to run right there. Um... So I would either push the pawn forward, or you know I would have done something different. I don't know what I would have done, but <laughs> all right. So with your move to uh, king to e2, uh, my queen is going to move to c2 and put you in check. Um, at this point, I'm just trying to find a way to trap the king. <laughs> um, well, and make sure he can't only, get away with it. Right now, there's only two spaces I can go. Mm-hmm. Which one of these do I go to? Uh, you went to F1. Uh, you could. You probably should have gone to E1. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you might have been able to dance around a little bit more if you went to E1. Well, you went to F1. Not a bad idea, really. Because my next move is King to um, G3. Now that takes away this square uh, and this square if I move my queen off of this rank. So. <laughs> Here's my mate. Uh, no. no. Here you I push to a5. Something I should have done a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I move to uh, d3. And I moved to d3 to put a diagonal check on you, mm -hmm. um, because if I moved to uh, c1 or d1, uh, well, d1 would have worked. It probably would have ended the game one move faster. But if I moved to c1, then it gives you room to dance, you know, because mm -hmm. you could have come back up here and, you yeah. know. So I went to d3. Now here's where um, I truly make a mistake. Because if I'm in check, I can't move any other piece, which I believe I go. Well, you could move another piece, but you got to get out of check regardless of how you do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so right. you, yeah, you moved to G1. Fatal and mis Fatal mistake. It, it did wind up being the fatal mistake, because if you would have moved to E1, um, then you would have been out of check. Uh, and I would have had to come back here like this to get you. And... I would have probably at one point tried to yeah. escape it. Yeah, escape. you could have, you, you may have been able to escape if you went to E1. But you but, went to G1, yeah. um, so I moved down to D1, and that was checkmate. Yep. Uh, overall, Tawny, it was a very fantastically played game. Mm -hmm. You made a couple mistakes, but yeah. um, you played a really good game, and you know I know we talked out several different scenarios. Yeah. That that uh, that you could have you could and, and move moves that you could have made um, at various points in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm really hoping that helps you improve mm -hmm. and learn. Mm -hmm. But okay, now we're gonna end the video. All right. Well, that was uh, game two of our chess match. Mm -hmm. um, Tawny played really well. Yeah. And. We walked through several different um, iterations of, of moves in, in various spots. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, it, was, uh, it was good. Um, mm -hmm. She had me on the ropes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she really did. She had me on the ropes. Uh, I got down to where I had three pawns of my king. And I was lucky enough to get uh, one pawn to the back row, uh, which got me my queen back. And, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. When you get a queen back at the late game like that, it's it's shame. Because usually a at lot that point, because usually at that point you have little to no power pieces because you know mm -hmm. gotta chop those out. 
At the same time, you may also have no pawns and no power pieces, which then, and then if the other person gets a queen, you're just like, all right, yeah. Peace out. <laughs> I don't exist, I'm, I'm, I don't exist anymore, because like, you just have queen mm. and king, and then also you have, and you yourself have no pawns and only one piece that can't really end the game because the queen's too agile. Mm. You're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes it, makes it so, how do you think the game went? Mm, pretty good. I mean, technical issues aside, yeah, we had to still we had to do the ending about four times because of technical issues. <laughs> yeah, uh, mm. it, it went pretty good. Although there were some moments where it was like, my God, stop figuring out third situations. <laughs> because like you present it as, oh, there's two situations. Both of them have like different scenarios. And at one point, and then we walk through one and we reset. And then I'm like, oh, hey, there's another one. <laughs> there's three, actually. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, my God. I hope I didn't overwhelm you with some of those. Uh, I don't think you did, although I'm not sure about that. But yeah, overall, it was a pretty good game. Although, my God, why can't, why do you? <laughs> I want to win! <laughs> I understand. You almost did. You almost won this game. It was very close and, and it was very hard for me to get out of some of these situations. Mm. Um, now, the reason I actually physically walked through each of those situations on the board was mm. because that's what I'm doing in my head. When I'm sitting here trying to think think through a, and, and decide on a move, mm. I'm actually in my head, I'm actually running through each of those situations. Hmm. Huh. So. I don't have that kind of thing going on there. You're just you're just not there yet. You don't have the practice. Like like I said in the beginning, you know, I got thirty years of practice on you. Yeah, I guess you do. I'm just <laughs> I'm just sitting here all like, oh, oh my God, stop winning. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna film um, game three here in the next few days. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, if you if you uh, go on YouTube, take this opportunity, go on YouTube, watch some uh, beginning chess games. Um, you know, you can maybe uh, learn a little bit more and do mm -hmm. a little bit better. Um, not that you did bad. I'm not saying you did bad at all. I think you did fantastic um, for. Because we had, we don't play chess very much. Mm -hmm. This is what the fourth or fifth time in the last four years that we've played. Yeah. Hopefully we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it more often from now on. Yeah, hopefully. All right. Well, uh, we want to thank you for watching. Um, mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed the video. Um, absolutely. If you have a comment, please leave it in the, uh, the comments box below, and. Uh, because I know there's, I'm not a very good chess player, and I know, you know, and Tawny, she, like I said, she's just getting started. I'm basically so a beginner. <laughs> don't be too hard on her in, in the comments. Um, I did note down all of the moves and uh, in chess notation, and I'll put, make sure to put those, that in the description. Um, so take a look at our game. If you can advise us as to what we should be doing better, and how to get better, then um, we would welcome the feedback. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna implore you guys once again to uh, smash that like button, leave a comment below, hit the red subscribe button, and ring that bell for notifications so you know the next time we upload a video. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can, share the video with people you know. Mm -hmm. you know? We, we would love to share our experiences with, uh, with all of you out there. And um, mm -hmm. so, yeah. I think that about wraps it up, Tony. Yep. All right. Well, have a good evening. Mm -hmm. And remember, it's, it's your, your move. move.